Exodus chapter 12. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be to you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak you to all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take the blood and strike it onto the two sides of the doorpost and the upper doorpost of the houses, wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water but roast with fire, its head with its legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remains of it until the morning you shall burn with fire, and thus shall you eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment. I am the Lord, and the blood shall be put to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt, and this day shall be to you for a memorial, and you shall keep it at a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Even the first day you shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And in the first day there shall be a holy convocation, and in the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. And you shall observe the feast of the unleavened bread, for in the selfsame day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall you observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at evening, you shall eat unleavened bread until the one and the twentieth day of the month at evening. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses. For whosoever eats that which is leavened, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel." Whether he be a stranger or born in the land, you shall eat nothing leavened, and all your habitations shall you eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families, and kill the Passover. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike it on the lintel and the two sides of the post with blood, that is in the basin, and none of you shall go out of the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he sees the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to smite you. And you shall observe this thing for an ordinance to you and to your sons forever. And it shall come to pass when you be come to the land which the Lord will give you according as he has promised that you shall keep this service. And it shall come to pass when your children shall say to you, What mean you by this service? That you shall say, 
It is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt when he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses, and the people bowed the head and worshipped. And the children of Israel went away and did as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. And it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon. And all the firstborn of cattle and Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and his all his servants and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up and get you forth from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord as you have said. Also, take your flocks and your herds as you have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste, for they said, We will be all dead men. And the people took their dough before it was leavened, their kneading troughs being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent to them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians, and the children of Israel journeyed from Ramses to Succoth, about 600,000 on foot that were men beside children, and a mixed multitude went up also with them, and flocks and herds, even very much cattle. And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they brought forth out of Egypt, for it was not leavened, because they were thrust out of Egypt and could not tarry, neither had they prepared themselves any victual. Now the sojourning of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was four hundred and thirty years. And it came to pass that the end of the four hundred and thirty years, even the selfsame day, it came to pass that the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. It is a night to be much observed to the Lord for bringing them out from the land of Egypt. This is that night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of Israel in their generations. And the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof, but every man's servant that is bought for money, when you have circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. A foreigner and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. In one house shall it be eaten. You shall not carry forth any of the flesh abroad out of the house, neither shall you break a bone thereof. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. And when a stranger shall sojourn with you and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let it, all his males be circumcised, and then let them come near and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born in the land, for no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. One law shall be to him that he is home-born, and to the stranger that sojourns among you. Thus did all the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded, Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass the selfsame day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies.